It was a murder that left the nation numb. Just six years old, Kaisha was found buried in the bush. At the time, people took to the streets demanding justice for the schoolgirl. Now, one of her killers is fighting to get out of jail. Little Kaisha, a face few can forget. She is beautiful. <laughs> it was August 2010 when Christy Abrahams called police to tell them her six-year-old daughter was missing. Yes, she's not here. I'm everywhere. It sparked a massive search in Sydney's western suburbs. Christy and her boyfriend, Robert Smith, making emotional appeals. You want to see her? Can they please contact the police? It gets harder by the minute. But police were suspicious about the couple's story and a protracted murder investigation led by respected homicide investigator Russell Oxford followed. That is something that you have to consider that it was somebody that she does know. Eight months after she was reported missing, on Good Friday 2011, the day that would have been Kaisha's seventh birthday, police swooped. Do you know where Kaisha is? I wish I knew. Christy Abrahams was charged with murder, Smith, manslaughter, and with being an accessory after the fact. Police said Christy hit Kaisha after the little girl refused to put on her pyjamas, knocking her unconscious. The couple then put Kaisha in the shower and then to bed. She died soon after. Abrahams and Smith put her body in a suitcase and hid it in a wardrobe for five days before taking her to bushland at Shalvey. She was doused in petrol and set alight before being buried. Probably one of the saddest cases I've ever worked on. It was a very, very hard investigation. Abrahams was jailed for 22 years, Smith a minimum of 12. Responsibilities of parents is to look after your kids and give them a chance. And this little girl didn't have a chance. That poor little girl. And crime editor Simon Boda joins me now. Simon, you've got breaking news on Robert Smith. Well, Ali, I can tell you that two weeks ago, the State Parole Authority held a private hearing where they have granted an intention to grant Robert Smith parole. Now, that's based on reports from the Serious Offenders Review Council and also Corrections Community Corrections. They provide reports, and on those reports, the State Parole Authority has formed an intention to grant him parole. But, um, I mean, Simon, this, this crime, it was beyond horrific. Surely he's not going to get out. Well, Ali, I guess that's going to be up to the State Parole Authority. What's going to happen now, on the 4th of April, there will be a public hearing. Now, that public hearing can be attended by anybody. Now, at that hearing, the State Parole Authority will accept submissions from Kaisa's family and also from the State Government. Now, depending on those submissions and also the previous hearing that they had in February, the State Parole Authority will then decide if he can be given parole. Now, as I said in the story, he was given minimum 12 years and maximum 16. So the earliest he can be out will be the 24th of April. Next month, 24th of April, mm. he could be a free man, Ali. Uh, I mean, that is just shocking to hear that, Simon. Appreciate the update. Thank you.